All right, guys, I'm Jamie with Shine Guys. We're here doing a scratch removal on a Mercedes. What kind of Mercedes is this? The DL450 it has some deeper scratches here. Those probably ain't gonna buff out. We'll just touch them up. Pretty decent sized scratch right here. Um, you can grab your fingernail on it, so it's pretty deep. Um, that probably, edge probably won't come out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my sanding block 2,000 grit sandpaper, 3,000 grit sandpaper, and I'm gonna wet sand this little scratch out. This is a, probably be a good scratch removal. I'm gonna tape my edges up so when I'm polishing it, I don't have to worry about hitting any of this metal. Go to town. I'm actually gonna, let's just do it dry. We're not even gonna wet sand it. So the scratch is right here. This is a really tricky area. You wanna kinda stay away from it because it's really thin right here on these edges. So I'm just gonna lightly there's a plenty of clear on there. You can see the difference on texture right when you just lightly hit it. There's a lot of texture left on here. How much pressure are you applying? I would say about, I'm being really, about probably I would say like 10 pounds, five, 10 pounds of pressure. Dry sanding will do the trick, but it's a lot more forgiving when you use water. This is just a soap and water. I just put a little bit of soap in there, some Dawn soap, and then now I'm just gonna glide back over it. Wet sanding just makes it glide a lot easier. If you look at the way I'm sanding too, if you look at my exits, these just little, you know, you wanna be really stay consistent with those. You just go ahead and use it as a squeegee. I like to, when I'm sanding, I like to use Keep it at the edge. If you have a folder over like that, you're gonna see your exit strikes on your sanding. Now that I wet sanded it down with the 2000, I'm just gonna spray a little bit more water on there. I'm gonna clean it off. Okay, can you see the difference? Can you see like the little, yeah, like those little dots? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand a bigger area with my 3000, because I don't wanna create flat spots in the paint, so I'm gonna extend that out. So I'm gonna sand this whole top area with my 3000 now. 3000, not really aggressive at all. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more water, spritz on there. I'm gonna come across the whole side. Remember, you don't wanna sand anywhere you can't fit a tool. So if I was sanding this whole panel, you wanna kinda stay away from all these edges, stay away from these edges. There's not that much product on there. Clear coat's really thin. Here's the shine in the paint. Here's where I did the scratch removal. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my, I'm gonna grab my rotary tool. I'm gonna hit it real quick with, uh, real fast. Actually, we're not, I'm not gonna use my rotary. We're just gonna use my DA. We're gonna use, we're just gonna use this ultra fine, my D with uh, this medium reflection artist my Rupes. So all I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a polish. I'm not gonna use a heavy compound. I'm just gonna polish with my heavy cutting pad. The Dude, reason dude. why is because I'm gonna finish it out and I'm just going, I just wanna get as close as to a one step as possible. Get this all in there. I always like to hit a spot. I wanna get even compound on my pad. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit it a couple quick passes. So when you're doing a wet sanding and you're taking it all the way down to 3000, most there's no reason for you to break out your rotary unless you want to take that finish faster because wet sanding to that 3000, your pad uh, finishing, a lot of finishing pads or a lot of pads will just easily knock down that, knock it all down and uh, give you a great, great finish. A little trick, you don't always need to go aggressive. You can use a nice polish with a heavier pad and get your deep, deep, deep shine. All right, so look at that deep finish. So 3000 grit, Rupes, ultra fine polish. So 3000 grit, 2000, 3000 grit, ultra fine polish. That's a, if you're three, if you're doing this process, if you're doing it like this, you only want to want, you want to try to reach paint perfection with doing one step every time you're doing a correction. 
You don't wanna have five, six, seven steps. You wanna find that right pad, right combination. Mercedes combination right here on this paint. You're gonna have this Rupes Ultra Fine Reflection Art Maroon Pad combination. Bam, dude, that is deep. That's a real scratch remover right there. All right, shine guys, j and Auto Recondition. I'm Jamie, I'm out here in Salt Lake City. You guys are here, hit us up. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and follow. Look at that, dude. Get the fuck out of here. That is insane. Damn, dude.